Hi there again. Uh, Sue here from Sue Doll Broadmine Kitchen. So this is the second half of the um, faggot making process. So we're in the middle of making some the gravy here. So we've got some red onion to cook in and some butter. Okay? With a tablespoon of sugar. So what we're going to add now is one tablespoon of ooh, one tablespoon of flour, okay, into the mixture, and then we're going to put on the um, stock. So a tablespoon, Mix that up, because obviously this is a thickener, obviously, and then we're going to add some stock. So I've got this gluten-free vegetable gravy granule stock, so we're going to add that. And then if it doesn't thicken enough with just the one tablespoon of flour, I will add some gravy granules to thicken it up more because I like my gravy quite thick. So we're just tipping some of this in and we're going to add 600 mils of water. Or if you have stock, like I explained on the first part, then just use that. So 600 mils. Two, four, six. So that's 600 mils of water. We'll add it to our stock. So I'm just going to whisk this because I hate lumps <laughs> So we're adding that to the onions. Oopsie. Okay, like that. Obviously, it's not set in stone how you make this. If it's too runny, then add some more stock, like thickener. Or if it's too thick, then add some more water. It's quite simple. Now boil this up a bit. And that's that really. I think the gravy's done. I don't think it's that difficult. Right, so that's it. So the gravy's done. Similar gently. So exactly what I just said. Once cooked, remove the package from the Right, so, yes, so with the faggots, once they're half cooked, let's turn that down a little bit, once they're half cooked, right, so with the, do you, would you like to see what this looks like? So at the moment, it's, it's a sort of light browny colour, and you can always use gravy browning, you only need a tiny drop. Because when I've made um, stocks in the past, like um, sauces, people expect them to be a certain colour. And um, like beef stock, they always expect it to be dark brown. So I just used to add a tiny little bit of browning, gravy browning. You literally only need a tiny bit and it turns your gravy dark brown and that's what most people like different meats they they expect it to be a certain color because that's it's always been that way hasn't it so if you use this dough um for for beef it's like dark brown because they it's got gravy browning in it so that's a little tip in case you want to make your gravy brown just buy it in the shop it's called gravy browning and it comes in a bottle and you only need a tiny bit. It doesn't have a flavour, it is literally to colour it. But this is quite thick now. That's with that one tablespoon of flour. Yeah, it's quite thick. I'm just going to test it, see what it tastes like. And, put a and also, another tip, 
It's not always to put salt in your gravy because if you're using any of these sort of things, they usually have salt in them. And gravy um, like this dough and stuff, or even those granules there, probably have quite a high amount of salt. So I would always not put salt in first and test it first and then see how salty it is. Because even if you use stock cubes, they're very salty. You know, so don't add salt until you've tested it. It's bubbling away. So I'm just going to test it. Obviously it's not done yet because the ovens, well, I did cook them mainly. I'm just going to test it to see what it tastes like. does need some salt. So obviously this particular gluten-free vegetable gravy sauce mix doesn't have salt in it. So we've just got a few bits of salt in and I think we need some pepper in it as well just to give it a bit of a punch. That's enough. I usually use grinding pepper but my grinder seems to have broken and, um, so I'm just using that for now. Right, there we go. That's really thick. That's just with that one tablespoon. So I might have to thin it down a little bit more. We'll try it. I'll we'll need to test this again. Of washing up. Mm. That's better now. Still tastes like it needs something else. I'm not sure what it is it needs. It needs something. It's because I've got, I like um, herbs and stuff. You know, I like, I like the taste of herbs. Obviously we've got the sage in the faggots. And that should complement this gravy. Um, tastes quite nice though. It's more like a sauce really. But it's quite sauce-like. You see that? Go get a better camera. <laughs> this is just on my laptop, this camera, by the way, so I think the sound quality is not very good. I do apologise in advance for the sound quality of my videos at the moment because once I've got all these gadgets on, like the kettle and stuff and the microwave, I don't know how the dishwasher is going to affect it, but it tends to affect the sound quality on the video. I'm really sorry about that. Um, not much I can do about it at the moment. <laughs> it's either put up with the sound or I can't make any videos because I don't have any other video making system. So what we're going to do now is that I'm going to cut up, oops, oh, drop it on my face. <laughs> I'm going to cut up, just boil the kettle, this, this will interfere with the sound, sorry. I'm going to, um, sorry, cut up half a cabbage. Simple. I love this cabbage. And there we have it. So I'll just cut up half. Maybe more than half, really. Still. And I, this is the way I cut a cabbage. So I just take out. Spooky. The wind is really howling. So I'm going to keep this and put it in this saucer. Like I said about making stock. So any bits, just put them in there. So cut this up quite finely. This is if you want cabbage. And then 
then I'm going to put this into some salted water, or you can steam it. But I'm only doing one vegetable today. So I will just use salted water. The walls are moving, everything's moving in here. It's very spooky. It's very windy. You hear the doors. Move. I don't check the windows. Shut the doors are moving. Very spooky. This door here, there's a door there. And it's it keeps making the noise. There's swing doors. Oh that one is, it's a swing door. But so I'm gonna put this on to the door with a bit of salt. And a lid, and a lid, and this is done. This is definitely cooked. This is definitely cooked. Because it doesn't need any more cooking. This um, gravy sauce. It doesn't need any more cooking. That is definitely done. So I'm going to just put that there. I'm not going to use that for a while. And then I'll just put this on the ring and put on a lid. Okay, so I've got a lid. Oh, it's very spooky in here today. It's very, very, very spooky. So anyway, I'm going to run. I've got this tiny, look how small these sweet potatoes are. This is what they sent me. Oh, tiny. Tiny. Anyway, I'm going to prepare them. My partner tried to ring me, but I missed. I'm going to start with 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 I'm going to wash them over here. Okay, these don't take long to cook, by the way. And these bits here, I'm going to throw in this pan. All these. I will wash this before I put it up on for the boil as well, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> but look, so we're going to keep that and we're going to make a stock out of it. So, how to cut this? Whichever way you want, right potatoes. So, just like that, really. Quarters. They don't take long to cook. So what I'll do, once the 
cabbage is cooked, I will take the cabbage out, put it in a bowl, and put these in the cabbage water. And then when when the cab after that, I will drain these off, and then the cabbage water and the potato water, I will then put in that saucepan for the stock. There you go, see? And also when I if I steam vegetables and you know you've put the water in the bottom, you can cook your potatoes in the bottom and then put like pile on your steamers at the top because I've got like three different, so I can have it like up here with three different steamers with the potatoes cooking in the bottom and then keep the water after. Okay, it's all about just reusing everything really. I'm just going to put the kettle on so that I can. Oh no, I don't need to do it. It's okay, I'm losing the plot today. It's quite late, by the way. It's actually past seven in the evening. And I've made this coffee for myself, which has actually gone cold. So I'm going to heat it up in the microwave. There we go. So this, this, this cabbage is nearly done. I don't like to overcook it. I don't like my food gone tight, strange colour. So I like it to look bright. And I think that this is actually done. So let me just test it. Just a couple of more minutes. Morning. I'll rinse out these leaves while I'm leaves, peelings while I'm waiting. So, there's my peelings. Okay, so I'm keeping those. So, that's it really. I think we're nearly done. Oh, it's nice and warm with the doors open. It might smell like faggots. Let's have a look. Let's see what they look like. So we'll take the foil off now, because you want them to brown on the top. So, and they smell just like faggot smell. So I think we'll have a success. And now you can see the reason why you keep the juice, because um, otherwise they dry out. And now that these ones, take off the lid. There we are. Okay. I need to go and turn the tap off. That's it. Okay, so that's that. So there you go. They, they don't need that much browning. So I'll keep an eye on them. They'll only take about five minutes. And my cabbage is done now. That will definitely be done. So I'm going to tip, I'm just going to scoop out, hold on, I'm going to get a sip, a colander, tip out the uh, cabbage. So I'm just going to do this, because I want to keep the cabbage water. So tip the cabbage out. Actually, I think I've nearly got it all out. I can mess everywhere so right that's all the water and then to keep the cabbage um, warm just put the lid back on so now I've got this water if you can see that anyway it's just water 
I'm going to tip it in with the stop. So now we've got our leaves, our peelings. Why do I keep saying leaves? Oh, no, I keep it. I won't do keep making separate videos. Okay, folks, so back again. You know what I forgot? I forgot to use the potato, the cabbage water for the potatoes. Now I've got to boil some more water. Duh. <laughs> After me saying about you, you reusing the water for the potatoes, I then didn't. That's because I'm getting distracted today. My phone keeps ringing, my partner keeps trying to ring me, but I think um, I can't get I can't hear him on the phone. He's rung me like three times. <laughs> but every time I go to answer it, <coughs> he's not there, so. Anyway, I'm just clearing up a bit. And their faggots are nearly done by the way, so we've got to stay here and keep an eye on them. And then I'll show you the finished product once they're done. Yeah? So I'm just going to clear up. Look out for my next video which will be some Anglesey shortbread and some Welsh cakes, okay? Both of those I'm going to be making on my next video, okay? Just so you know. So look out for that video to come next, okay? So at the moment we're still waiting on the faggots and then we'll be done. And then I will do a taste test. Of just the faggots, not, not the sweet potatoes. I mean, I'm just going to boil the potatoes and I'm going to mash them with some butter and a tiny little bit of um, cream and some um, a little bit of salt and pepper and just mash them. And we're having the cabbage with it and the faggots. So I will show you at the end like a picture of that. Okay, you don't need to see me mashing up... Um, sweet potatoes, it's not that interesting. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the um, sweet potatoes in this saucepan. I should have cooked them already because I had the uh, stock water but now I've, um, I'll have more stock water won't I? Because I'm now making more stock with this water. <laughs> So, I'll take these ones off for a minute and put this on. I mean, I can lay like more of these things, but no, let's just use one. So, this is our yummy gravy. It looks very thick. And as I said, you can, see that? You can use um, gravy browning. I don't actually think I've got any left because um, if you want it to look darker because obviously it's quite a light colour or you could use like Bisto or something like that but this is actually made with the actual flour um, it does taste really nice so we're nearly done folks da, da, da. we're going to use these bowls for our dinner um, yeah because we'll put the faggots and then some potatoes and some cabbage I'll show you once I've finished it what it looks like the finished product but I don't want to bore you to death um, and the sweet potatoes will take a little while to boil them out so I'm just going to check on my faggots Oh. 
this juice in our gravy, which will give it a nice taste. So I'll just take the faggots out and put them on my plate. I'll put the faggots on my plate now. So I'll just um, sift them out. <laughs> right, here we go. So then we can tip all this juice into this gravy. Mm. So there's our faggots. Look, they've come out really well. I'm really happy. Considering I've never made them before, this is the first time I've ever made them. And I love faggots. So I hope they taste as good as they look. I'll let you know in a minute. So let's just put these all on here. They do smell delicious, by the way. Uh -huh. Okay, nearly there. Right, there we are. So I'm just going to tip all of this loveliness into this. Yum, yum, yum. And all of this loveliness. I pick up the dish without burning my hands. Into this too. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> and then we we'll stir this and we we'll warm this up a bit more still because this cooled down a bit. And if it's still too thick, you can just use some of the water from your. Um, Vegetables, like I said, already. I'm repeating myself. And there. Right, so I'm just going to put these over by the sink. Let's get them out of the way. Keep a spoon. So here's our faggots made. Look delish. So I'm just waiting for the sauce and then I'm going to pour some on here and then try it. Just warming through the gravy. Okay. Well, I think that's warm enough. I just want to test it. I'm just going to tip some on this. So there we have it. Faggots with gravy. Now I'm going to try it. And I'll let you know what it tastes like. Here we go. So faggots with gravy. Mmm. Mm. Tastes like faggots. That actually tastes delicious. Oh yeah. Mm. I wish you could eat one. Come on. Come on. You need to make these. If you like faggots, make these. These are from this Welsh book that I have here. <laughs> called Taste of Wales. Okay, I don't know if that comes around the right way, obviously. It's only a little book, 
but it's full of Welsh recipes. I have made a couple of recipes out of that book. Mm. I really like it. Mm. Adding the sugar brings out the flavour. The sweetness is really nice actually. Mm. I think my partner would like me. What do you think? Delicious baguettes, homemade, made in Snowdonia National Park. And they smell delicious. I'm really happy. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I can't stop drinking that. I do not know why I haven't made them before, apart from the time, but it doesn't take that long. Once you grind up the meat and stuff, I mean the cooking time didn't take long. Mm. That's really, really lovely. Sorry. Yummy. Yes. With homemade gravy, served with sweet potatoes and cabbage. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave a picture up of the finished product. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my video and you'd like to see more and ring that notification bell and leave a comment below if there's anything you would like me to cook on camera. I'm also going to be holding some cooking courses, so if you're interested in those, from basic cookery, Welsh cookery, whatever you would like, I will endeavour to try and make it for you. Okay, so if there's anything you'd like, but it has to be like something like this, you know, something interesting. Not beans on toast and stuff like that. Something Welsh, maybe. Okay, but it doesn't have to be Welsh, but I am in Wales and I would like to promote Welsh cooking. Okay, so leave a comment below and I'll see you next time. So, goodbye for now. Bye.